Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I am here with one important familiar topic that we all are familiar with, that is spices. I will try to go cover this uh, topic in two parts. As we know that spices are the plant products which are aromatic and they are used to impart specific flavor or aroma to a particular food item. Basically, these plant parts hai, which are dried plant parts or in ko hum use karte to enhance flavor and aroma of our food items. In this lecture, I will try to discuss uh, origin of the particular plant which is used as spice, then its morphology and which part we use as spice, then its cultivation practices, what are the various chemical constituents which are present in a particular spice and its uses. It include, uh, the use will include both uh, use as spice as well as medicinal use. So we will discuss it one by one in detail. Let's start. Firstly, introduction. So what are spices? These are basically the plant products in which we use different plant parts, which have special flavoring agents, essential oils, or other chemical substances which impart special aroma or flavor to the uh, food items. So basically, spices are aromatic substances of plant origin and obtained from dried plant parts like we have fruits, seeds, flowers, roots, bark or other plant parts. So different plant parts ko use karte hai, which are dried as uh, in the form of spices. These are basically used for flavoring, coloring or preserving food items. So ye iske bahut sare uh, uses hai. So for example, we have a lot of um, spices like black pepper, allspice and cumin curry powder, nutmeg, fennel seeds, coriander, oregano, caraway, bay leaves, then dried thyme and paprika. So these all comes under these spices. We have different examples, but in our syllabus, we are provided with some selected spices. So condiment, then next comes condiment. Condiment is a spice, basically. And there are different definitions given by different organizations or different persons. So basically condiment is a spice, sauce, spice mixture that is added to food to impart particular flavor to the enhance it or to enhance it so basically jo condiment hai wo mostly use karte hain as a sauce ki form mein aur ya to mixture of spices jo ki use karte hain to increase or to impart a particular flavor or to enhance its flavor so difference kya hai basic spices or condiment mein? Jo spices hain, spices and aromatic or pungent plant part, for example, we have fruit, leaves, seed, root, bark, berry, bud, flower, vegetable, and they're used to add flavor and aroma to the food items. While condiment, these are food ingredients such as salt, mustard, or pickle that is used to add only taste to the food. So they act as, these spices act as uh, antioxidants. Basically condiments are used to enhance color. Then they act as antimicrobial compounds, spices, while condiments act to enhance the flavor. India contributes about 75% of spice production throughout the world, and world spice market is continuously growing. While condiment trade is the second biggest market in especially food after all that of cheese. Next, we have examples like cinnamon, cassia, nutmeg, mace, fennel, mustard, black pepper, etc. These are examples of spices, while barbecue sauce, compound butter, Teriyaki sauce, soya sauce, marmite, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise are the example of condiments. So, these are condiments. Next comes culinary herbs. So, these are obtained from leaves or other parts of the herbaceous plant parts and have strong aroma. In cake, strong fragrance hoti hai and they impart a, a unique flavor also. For example, we have basil. Bay leaves, coriander, hai, oregano, hai, parsley, hai, sage, hai, mint. Hai. So these all are known as culinary herbs. They have some specific uh, aromatic substances which kick special aroma or flavor in part of the food item. Mein. Next we will discuss one classification of spices on the basis of plant part used. We will use plant part used. On the basis of firstly we have fruit and seeds. And examples are fennel, mustard, nutmeg, black pepper, allspice, coriander. Uh, so, ye jo sabhi spices hai, isme hum fruit or seeds use karte. Next, we have aril. Aril is a protective covering of seed basically. 
yeah, and sometimes it becomes fleshy also in case of lychee or texas so we use aril as spice for example we have mace then bark is also used as a spice like we have cinnamon and cassia iske hum bark use karte hain commonly known as dalchini then we have dried flower birds the best example is cloves then we have stigmas which is very important or costliest uh, um, spice that is saffron jise kesar kehte hain in this uh, spice we use the dried stigmas female part of the flower then we use roots as spice like we have galingale then we use rhizome as spice in case of ginger and turmeric we use its rhizome in ke hum rhizome use karte hain underground stem use karte hain as a spice then we have leaves leaves use karte hain bay leaf curry leaf in addition to this we have tej patra that is cinnamon tamala then we use resin as spice it is obtained from the roots of root exudates of uh, ferula sphoidida to resin ko hum use karte hain as spice so these are some basic classification this is some basic classification on the basis of plant part used of spices this photograph shows various spices and its names firstly we have goji berries also known as wolf berry and barberum then we have nutmeg jaifal jise bhi kehte hain then fragrant pepper white pepper cinnamon then we have black cardamom then caraway jise jeera aur cumin bhi kehte hain then sesame seed til and we have fennel next kelonji seeds and this is also known as uh, nigella and uh, cardamom pods cardamom that is elaichi then we have juniper vanilla pods coriander seeds cloves then star and ice also known as berryan then mustard seeds black pepper fenugreek seeds mixed pepper corn in addition to this we have some other spices also kuch important facts regarding spices that is king and queen of spices so firstly king of spices jo black pepper hai kali mirch usse king of spices kaha jata hai uh, ye naam diya jata hai because of its diverse role diverse uses it is commercially very important plant it has lot of medicinal properties then it is a part of all the cuisines to isliye se king of spices kaha jata hai black pepper is referred as king of spices it is also known as black gold bhi kehte hain ise and this is a photograph which shows black pepper then it has widespread uses and is commercially very important uh, product and and has lot of medicinal properties bahut zyada iski medicinal properties hai that will we will discuss it is a most common spice used in all cuisine sabhi tarah ki jo cuisines hai usme ise use kiya jata hai as a spice and health benefits it helps in keeping the skin healthy cold se ye uh, protect karta hai it improve digestion helps in treatment of ulcer alleviates toothache prevent cancer helps in weight loss depression mein fight karne mein help karta hai treat asthma and cure sinus next we have queen of spices to jo uh, cardamom hai eritrea cardamom that is elaichi choti elaichi use queen of spices kaha jata hai because it has unique uh, aroma or a volatile oils present hote hain isme it contains approximately 25 volatile oil jo ise bahut unique banate hain in addition to this it has lot of health benefits so eritrea cardamom it is referred as queen of spices ise queen of spice kehte hain and is known as choti elaichi choti elaichi bhi ise kehte hain aur isme hum use karte hain cardamom pods iske andar hote hain seeds to iski jo fruit covering hai dried fruit covering isme bhi bahut sare volatile oil present hote hain its seeds also contain the volatile oils jo ise specific aroma provide karte hain jo hum use karte hain breath freshener ki tarah bhi it have more than 25 volatile oils and is used to treat various health problems then this uh, animated photograph shows its uh, medicinal uses it is used uh, to treat gastrointestinal disorders as uh, a breath freshener is used karte hain it cures urinary urine disorders uh, it is uh, used to get rid of insomnia then it is aphrodisiac it means it enhances the sex drive it is used for detoxification of body improves blood circulation and helps in weight loss alleviates joint pain and keeps the dental problem at bay so dental problems ko bhi ye uh, uh, bachata hai protect karta hai dental problems se 
so these are the health benefits of cardamom so the, uh, these benefits make it as uh, king or uh, queen of the first spice plant that, that we will discuss in detail is clove it is uh, its botanical name is schizium aromaticum and this is a photograph which shows clove plant along with the flowers floral buds which are used as a spice so this botanical name is Schizium aromaticum and synonyms are eugenia aromatica in addition to this it has another name eugenia caryophyllus so these are the names scientific names used for clove its english name is clove and indian names are long lavanga and kirambu so ye naam bharat mein use hote hain iske it belongs to family myridaceae and its chromosome number that is diploid chromosome number is 22 so this is the brief information of this clove plant and this these are the dried birds jinko hum as a spice use karte hain jo clove word hai it is derived from a latin or french word jiska naam hai clavus clavus means nail so jo nail hai nail ki tarah iski shape hoti hai so that's why this is known as clove clove is most ancient and valuable spice और कमर्शियल पर्पसेस के लिए हम इसका पार्ट यूज करते हैं दैट इज अनओपेंड फ्लोरल बर्ड्स इनको हम ड्राई करते हैं और कमर्शियली इनको हम सेल करते हैं सो अनओपेंड एंड एरोमेटिक फ्लोरल बर्ड्स आर यूज्ड फॉर कमर्शियल पर्पसेस इफ वी टॉक अबाउट इट्स नेम इट्स नेम इज डिराइव्ड फ्रॉम लैटिन और फ्रेंच वर्ड क्लेवस जो लैटिन और फ्रेंच वर्ड है क्लेवस और क्लो वहां से इसका नाम लिया गया है व्हिच मींस नेल because it's a bird head gives an appearance of nail if we talk about world production of clove so dunia mein iski production hoti hai around 80000 tons per annum 80000 tons per annum aur jo major uh, clove producing countries hain world mein that is indonesia sri lanka madagascar hain india bhi uh, produce karta hai kafi clove and in india we cultivate it in uh, states like Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, and Andaman Nicobar Island. So, we have this grow karte hai. And in India, we have area of uh, approximately 2340 hectares under clove cultivation. And our annual production is around 1200 tons per annum. So, we have production in one year. This image shows the production status of the world so sabse zyada jo production karti hai country that is indonesia followed by madagascar tanzania sri lanka comoros kenya china malaysia so ye sabhi countries participate karti hain clove production mein the next comes part use so we use unopened floral birds for this uh, spice jo ye unopened floral birds hain inhe use karte hain hum in a dry next comes its origin and domestication so it is native to Molucas or Maluku island of Indonesia. So Indonesia ke jo Malukans island hai yaha pe iska origin mana jata hai. Then we, there are many archaeologists, uh, archaeological findings which point out that clove were traded even in pre-Christian era. So pre-Christian era mein bhi iski trade ki jati thi. There are many evidences. Then sample collected from Syria are dated back to 1721 BC. So, Syria se bhi kuch sample collect kiye gaya hai jo batate hain ki eh, iski jo collection date hai that is 1721 BC before Christ. Then clothes were traded by Muslim sailors and merchants during the Middle Ages through sea routes. Aur ye bhi evidences mile hain ki jo clove hai wo uska trade karte hain Muslim sailors and merchants during the Middle Ages through sea routes. Next comes this morphology. So it is basically a medium size evergreen tree. A medium size ka ek sadabha tree hai ye. This ki height points the up to 10 to 20 meters. It can live up to 100 of 100 years or more. This ki jo lifespan hai, wo 100 years ka ho sakta hai aur 100 years se zada bhi ho sakta hai. The stem is much branched that we can see in this photograph. And has gray bark or bark ka color hota hai gray. The leaves are ellipsoid in shape and are arranged oppositely. So, its leaves are oppositely arranged hote hain, that we can see in this photograph, opposite direction. Mein. Leaves are highly aromatic. Leaves may be special fragrance present hoti due to presence of oil glands containing volatile oils, due to presence of certain volatile oils, 
एंड फ्लावर्स आर बोर्न इन टर्मिनल साइन जो फ्लावर्स हैं दे आर बोर्न इन टर्मिनल साइन दैट वी कैन सी इन दिस फोटोग्राफ ये टर्मिनल साइन में बोर्न होते हैं फ्लावर्स इन ईच ग्रुप फ्लावर्स आर हाईली फ्रेगरेंट क्रिम्सन कलर्ड एंड आर बोर्न ऑन सिलेंड्रिकल बेस सो इसका जो कलर है क्रिम्सन कलर होता है एंड दे आर बोर्न ऑन सिलेंड्रिकल बेस द फ्लावर्स आर बाइसेक्शुअल हैविंग फोर सेपल्स फोर पेटल्स न्यूमरल स्टेमस एंड सिंगल कार्पल सो दिस इज द फ्लोरल डिस्क्रिप्शन इसमें चार सेपल्स होते हैं चार पेटल हैं बहुत ज़्यादा स्टेमन्स है दैट वी कैन सिंग दिस फोटोग्राफ न्यूमरल स्टेमन्स एंड अ सिंगल कार्पल सो इन दिस डायग्राम वी कैन सी द फ्लोरल पार्ट्स ऑफ क्लोव इट कंजिस्ट ऑफ हाईपेंथियम which is a covering then it has bilocular ovary calyx style and corolla then anthers which are numerous bahut sare hote hain this is the uh, ls of clove floral uh, floral bud then sepals are surrounded by fleshy hypanthium jo sepals hain unko bahar se cover karti hai ek fleshy layer jise kehte hain hypanthium in case of clove floral bud The fruit is 1.5 to 2.5 सेंटीमीटर लॉन्ग पर्पल ड्रूप सो इसका जो फ्रूट है वो होता है 1.5 to 2. Next comes cultivation. How we can cultivate clove plant? So it is basically a tropical plant. It means it is found near the equator, which thrives well in warm and humid climate. जहाँ पे टेम्परेचर ज़्यादा होता है और ह्यूमिड कंडीशन होती है वहाँ पे ये अच्छे से ग्रो करता है And it requires a temperature range of 20 to 30 degree Celsius. एंड एन एनुअल रेनफॉल ऑफ वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी टू वन टू हंड्रेड फिफ्टी सेंटीमीटर्स सो इतना इसे रेनफॉल चाहिए फॉर इट्स बेस्ट बेस्ट ग्रोथ इट कैन ग्रो वेल ऑन डीप एंड रिच लोमी सॉइल्स सो जो लोमी सॉइल है वो बेस्ट है इसकी कल्टिवेशन के लिए प्लांट इज प्रोपिगेटेड थ्रू सीड्स सीड्स के थ्रू प्रोपिगेट करते हैं प्लांट्स को नेचुरली फॉर मेच्योर सीड्स आर कलेक्टेड जो नेचुरली सीड्स नीचे गिरते हैं उन्हें कलेक्ट किया जाता है एंड आर सोन डायरेक्टली ऑन नर्सरीज नर्सरीज में इन्हें ग्रो किया जाता है एंड दे लूज़ वाइबिलिटी विद इन वन वीक ऑनली इसकी जो वाइबिलिटी है बहुत कम समय तक होती है सो so, ये एक वीक uh, में ही अपनी वाइबिलिटी को लूज़ uh, कर देते हैं दैन आफ्टर ग्रोइंग इन नर्सरीज सिडलिंग्स ऑफ अबाउट टू ईयर ओल्ड जो सिडलिंग्स हैं दो साल की उन्हें हम ट्रांसप्लांट करते हैं इन द फील्ड विच आर वेल प्रिपेयर एंड मेन्योर्ड पिट्स और इसके लिए हम स्पेशल पिट्स भी बनाते हैं जिसमें हम मेन्योर डालते हैं आफ्टर दैट वी विल ट्रांसप्लांट दी सिडलिंग्स विच आर कलेक्टेड फ्राम नर्सरीज नर्सरी से इनको हम ट्रांसप्लांट करेंगे इन द प्रिपेयर फील्ड हाउवर इट इज़ अ स्लो ग्रोइंग प्लांट ये बहुत ही स्लोली ग्रो करता है एंड टेक्स वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम टू वीयर फ्लावर्स सो इट टेक लॉर ऑफ टाइम टू वीयर फ्लावर्स एक जल्दी से इसमें फ्लावर्स ग्रो नहीं करते हैं इट विल टेक टाइम ऑफ अप्रोक्सीमेटली एट टू टेन ईयर्स टू बियर फ्लावर्स सो इट स्टार्ट बियरिंग फ्लावर्स वैन द प्लांट आर एट टू टेन ईयर्स ओल्ड बट फुल बियरिंग स्टेज इज अचीव अबाउट ट्वेंटी ईयर्स सो बहुत ही लंबा टाइम लगता है टू गेट दिस फ्लावर्स और जो फ्लोरल बर्ड्स हैं उनको एज अ स्पाइस यूज करने के लिए नेक्स्ट फ्लारिंग टेक्स प्लेस फ्राम सेप्टेम्बर टू अक्टूबर इन प्लेन्स अगर हम प्लेन्स की बात करें तो सेप्टेम्बर से अक्टूबर में इसमें फ्लारिंग होती है और इन हिल्स इट टेक्स प्लेस इन डिसम्बर टू फेबररी द फ्लोरल बर्ड्स बिकम रेडी फॉर हार्वेस्टिंग इन अबाउट फोर मंथ्स सो फोर मंथ्स में जो ये फ्लोरल बर्ड्स हैं दे आर रेडी टू बी हार्वेस्टेड द अनओपन फ्लोरल बर्ड्स आर पिकड अप बाई हैंड सो मैनुअली इन्हें पिक किया जाता है वैन दिस स्टार्ट टर्निंग इन टू पिंक फ्राम ग्रीन जब ग्रीन कलर से ये पिंक कलर में अपियर होना स्टार्ट होते हैं दैन वी कैन कलेक्ट दैम सो दे आर रेडी टू बी कलेक्टेड दैन दे आर ड्राइड एंड पैक्ट उसके बाद ये ड्राई किया जाते हैं आफ्टर दैट दे आर पैक्ट ए फुली ग्रोन ट्री या फुली ग्रोन ट्री प्रोड्यूस अबाउट टू के जी ऑफ ड्राइड क्लोब्स एनुअली सो एक जो फुली मेच्योर ट्री है दैट कैन प्रोड्यूस टू के जी ऑफ ड्राइड क्लोब एनुअली नेक्स्ट कम दिस केमिकल कंपोजिशन सो इट कंटेन्स लॉर ऑफ केमिकल्स केमिकल कंपाउंड द करेक्टरिस्टिक्स और फ्लेवर इन क्लोव इज ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ बायोमोलिक्यूल्स लाइक वी हैव सम मेजर केमिकल्स यूजिनॉल एंड यूजिनाइल एसिडेट सो इनकी वजह से इसका जो एरोमेटिक फ्लेवर है दैट इज ड्यू टू प्रेजेंस ऑफ दीज केमिकल्स सो गुड क्वालिटी क्लोब बर्ड्स कंटेन फिफ्टीन टू ट्वेंटी परसेंट एसेंशियल ऑयल्स डोमिनेटेड बाई यूजिनॉल दैट इज सेवेंटी टू एटी फाइव परसेंट 
then it contains eugenyl acetate that is 15 percent and beta caryophyllene which is 5 to 12 percent so these are uh, some common chemicals or uh, compounds which are present in clove birds the other constituents are methyl amyl ketone then methyl salicylate and uh, beta humulin beta yalgin and chavicol so these chemicals present out there is a list of uh, chemical compounds which are present in floral birds of clove in broad overall chemical constitution clove consists of 61 percent of carbohydrate and 20 percent fat then it contains secondary metabolites vitamin and minerals so this is the overall composition which broad chemicals or metabolites which are present in the clove cloves are best when used as whole अगर हम इसे as a whole use करते हैं, so they are best. जब हम इसके इसमें powder की form में grind करते हैं, so they lose their quality. Their flavor and quality deteriorates once powdered. जैसे ही इन्हें हम grind करते हैं, so इसका जो flavor और quality next comes is uses. So most common uses as spice. इसे हम as spice use करते हैं और they are widely used in curry powders and masalas. इसे हम और मसालों के साथ मिक्स करते हैं एंड वी यूज इट टू प्रिपेयर आवर फूड आइटम्स इट इज यूज्ड ऑलमोस्ट एवरी डिश और क्विजीन मेड इन नॉर्थ इंडिया सो जो भी नॉर्थ इंडिया में कोई भी डिश बनती है क्विजीन बनती है उसमें हम इसे यूज करते हैं एंड इट्स मोस्टली मिक्स विद अदर स्पाइसेस देन इट इज एक्सटेंसिव इट इज एक्सटेंसिवली यूज्ड इन प्रिपेयरिंग बिरयानीज टू एनहांस फ्लेवर ऑफ राइस इन साउथ इंडिया साउथ इंडिया में इसे बिरयानी बनाने में यूज करते हैं नेक्स्ट इट इज यूज्ड टू impart a particular flavor to the meat so it is used as whole or ground cloves which are used to enhance flavor of meat and rice dishes in addition to this clove has various medicinal uses bahasaiske medicinal uses hain it protect the liver it is uh, good for healthy stomach it is used to treat oral diseases it gets rid of uh, headaches fight lung cancer keeps diabetes in check strengthen the immune system to enhance bone strength improve digestion strong antibacterial agent so it is reported to have carminative means it helps in clearing bowel antispasmodic anodyne that is painkiller antipyretic to reduce fever stimulant anti-inflammatory uh, then a natural anti-helminthic antibacterial antiseptic antiviral antifungal properties hain iski then the medicinal properties are due to presence of eugenol jo isme a chemical present a chemical compound eugenol uski wajah se iski medicinal properties hain they are important component of indian ayurvedic medicine system uh, and alpha humulin and eugenol present in clove oil have potent anti carcinogenic properties so jo alpha humulin hai aur eugenol hai inki hoti hai anti carcinogenic property means anti cancerous properties next cloves are also used as incense material they are an important uh, incense material to ise hum use karte hain as an incense material chinese and japanese culture baked good confectioneries candies and table sauces are used are prepared by using clove the clove oil is u- also used in uh, aromatherapy then we have clove oil which is very important component of clove iske bahut sare uses hain oil extracted from clove is used extensively for flavoring of meats सॉसेज एंड टू ट्रीट टू थैक जो दांत में दर्द होता है उसको ट्रीट करने के लिए भी क्लोव ऑयल यूज होता है इट हेल्प्स टू कीप द गम्स हेल्दी एंड इज यूज टू प्रिपेयर सोप्स एंड माउथ वॉशेज इट इज़ यूज एज अ क्लियरिंग एजेंट इन हिस्टोलॉजिकल स्टडीज ऑल्सो जब हम डिसेक्शनिंग करते हैं टू सी द सेक्शन अंडर हायर रिजोल्यूशन सो वी ट्रीट द सेक्शन आफ्टर स्टेनिंग विद क्लोव ऑयल एंड इट ऑल्सो हेल्प्स इन क्लियरिंग द सेक्शन then it has various industrial applications clove oil is extensively used in toothpaste perfumes jummings and mouthwash so this is all about clove and uh, we have discussed all uh, properties its medicinal values and other applications in this slide next spice plant that is given in our syllabus is black pepper its botanical name is piper nigrum and it is a member of family piperaceae so its botanical name is piper nigrum and in english name are black pepper or peppercorn 
and there are various name Indian names which are used for this plant that is Kala Mirch, Maricha, Oshana, Hapusha, Kali Mirch, then uh, Kalamari and Melago. It belongs to family Piperaceae. Piperaceae ka member hai and it has a diploid chromosome number that is 52. If we talk about its general introduction, so black pepper that is a woody climber, a vine hai hai, woody vine, and mostly we use it for its fruits, which are berries. So it is a perennial climbing vine, which is mainly cultivated for these berries. This we use karte. It can be variously processed to prepare black, green, red, or white paper cones. So its ki jo processing hai, uske basis pe hum ise black green red or white pepper cones may uh, convert kar sakte hain black pepper is thought to be native of south india generally referred as king of spices that i have already discussed because of its widespread use it is also known as black gold aur uh, iski bahut hi zyada commercial importance hai as well as its uh, innumerable medicinal applications for sorry, ski medicinal uses there so that's why it is regarded as king of spices one of the most common spices and it is one of the most common spices added to all the cuisines worldwide it is a very first item of commerce between india and europe so the first item of commerce tha, ka jo first item tha, that was uh, this black pepper between india and europe and it is the most traded spice in the world. The most traded spice in the world is black pepper and the part used of this spice is fruit. We dry it dry after that it is used as spice. Next comes this origin and domestication. Origin we have discussed that is believed to originate in South India, South Asia and Southeast Asia. So a South Asia, uh, Southern India may iska origin jata hai. It is an integral part of Indian cooking since at least 2000 BC. So bahut purane samay se ye ek integral part hai Indian cooking system, cooking system ka. It was grown in Southern Thailand, Java, Sunda, Sumatra, Madagascar and Malaysia during the medieval time. <coughs> if we talk about world uh, production status, so sabse zara jo production hai that is uh, by Vietnam that is 34% followed by India 19% then Brazil Indonesia and other countries having smaller proportion of production if we talk about area under cultivation in India it is uh, approximately 1,29,000 area under cultivation in India is 1,29,000 hectares under pepper uh, black pepper cultivation and uh, if we talk about its production, that is 55,000 ton. 55,000 tons production of pepper cones per year. And in India, it is mostly cultivated in Kerala. Bharat mein ye sabse zara jo cultivation is ki wo Kerala mein ki aati hai. In addition to this, uh, jo Kerala hai that contributes about 90% of its production. And rest of the states are Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. external features it is a weak stemmed perennial woody climbing vine it requires certain supporting structures like poles or some trees like coconut trees just may say supporting support jo ise support provide karte hai for its growth and it can reach up to a height of four to six meter under cultivated condition in support of trees and it can grow up to eight to fifteen meters in wild condition its stem is branched and at each node it produces roots roots is key nodes they produce hoti hai, and these roots helps in climbing jo isse climbing help karte hai. in addition to this uh, this piper nigrum plant bears two types of branches one is orthotropic branches orthotropic branches means which is vertically oriented so vertically oriented branches are known as orthotropic branches second are the plagiotropic branches plagiotropic branches which are horizontally oriented and these branches bear fruits so two types of branches pattern the orthotropic climbing branches jo vertically oriented hoti hai, and second are the plagiotropic fruiting branches jo fruit bear karti. 
और इसके जो लीव्स होते हैं दे आर सिंपल अल्टरनेट एंड ऑफ अन साइडेड इट मीन्स दोनों वो इक्वल साइडेड नहीं होते हैं दे आर अन इक्वल एस मेट्रिक दे आर कोरिशियस डार्क ग्रीन एंड शाइनी ऑन द एव सरफेस एंड पेल एंड ग्लैंड ऑटेड ऑन द लोअर सरफेस और वेंट्रल सरफेस द लेमिना इज कॉर्डेट टू ओवेट इन ऑर्थोट्रॉपिक ब्रांचेज जो वर्टिकली ओरिएंटेड ब्रांचेज हैं उनमें ये कॉर्डेट और ओवेट होता है मीन्स हार्ड शेप्ड और ओवेट शेप एंड ओवेट टू ओवेट एलिप्टिक इन ऑन द प्लेजिट्रॉपिक ब्रांचेज और जो हॉरिजोंटली ओरिएंटेड ब्रांचेज हैं उनमें ये एलिप्टिक और ओवेट शेप के लीब्स हो सकते हैं इन फ्लोरसेंस इज पेंडेंट स्पाइक पेंडेंट स्पाइक है बॉर्न अपोजिट टू द लीव्स ऑन फ्रूटिंग ब्रांचेज pendant in for instance pendant spike in for instance is present in case of this pipram piper nigrum next the spike are 2 to 17 cm long iski jo length hai that is 2 to 17 cm long and bear up to 100 minute flowers aur ye 100 minute flowers bear karta hai cultivated vines are monoecious monoecious hoti hain cultivated vines exhibiting variability in the composition of male female and हर्मेफ्रोडाइट फ्लावर्स तो वो वेरिएशन है मेल फीमेल और हर्मेफ्रोडाइट फ्लावर्स में द हाई इल्डिंग कल्टीवार्स जो हाई इल्डिंग वेराइटीज हैं कल्टीवार्स हैं दे हैव सेवेंटी टू हंड्रेड परसेंट बाई सेक्शुअल फ्लावर्स उनका ये यूनिक फीचर है कि वो पेयर करते हैं बाई सेक्शुअल फ्लावर्स एंड दिस पाइपर नाइग्राम प्लांट इज सेल्फ पॉलिटरी प्लांट द फ्रूट इज असाइल ग्लोबोज ड्रूप जो इसका फ्रूट है वो एक सिसाइल विदाउट एनी स्टॉक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर सिसाइल ग्लोबोज ड्रूप है इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज बैरी बैरी भी कहते हैं विद अ पल्पी पेरिकार्प इट हैज पल्पी पेरिकार्प द ग्रीन अनराइप फ्रूट्स टर्न रेड ये जब राइप करते हैं फ्रूट्स दे टर्न रेड इन कलर ऑन राइपनिंग एंड टर्न ब्लैक आफ्टर ड्राइंग जब इसे ड्राई करते हैं दे टर्न ब्लैक सो रेड कलर की बैरीज होती हैं ऑन वेन दे बिकम मेच्योर और राइपन Each seed has a minute embryo with little endosperm and copious perisperm. So, जो seed है इसके अंदर उसमें बहुत कम endosperm present होता है and contain lot of perisperm. So, this is the photograph of dried berry of Piper nigrum. And this is a section of this fruit, the outermost covering, then the central cavity then embryo and it contains lot of perispa next comes this cultivation it is successfully grown in humid or warm tropical climate jahan pe rainfall hota hai annual 125 to 250 cm or jo plants say they prefer mostly the fertile drained loam soil Plants are not cultivated through seeds, although seeds are fully viable. But we use nursery by using the stem cuttings. Or for those, we use the stem cuttings taken from runner shoots, जो horizontally run करती हैं soil surface के ऊपर उन shoots को हम use करते हैं. And these shoots bear nodes from which roots arise. तो ये shoots हम इसलिए use करते हैं to obtain genetically uniform nursery. so mostly nursery is raised through these stem cuttings the runner shoots develops roots at each node on the ground and the root rooted cuttings are planted during the rainy seasons jo cuttings hain inko hum plant karte hain rainy seasons mein for this we make a pit of a 50 cm cube at a distance of 30 cm away from the base to 30 cm ke distance pe hum ek 50 cm cubic cm ka ek pit banate hain एंड विच इज़ प्रिपेयर्ड ऑन द साइड ऑफ सपोर्टिंग ट्री जो सपोर्टिंग ट्री है उसके साइड में हम इसे बनाते हैं द पिट्स आर फिल्ड विद अ मिक्सचर ऑफ टॉप सॉइल दैन वी यूड वी यूज फार्म यार्ड मेन्योर विच इज एडेड फाइव के जी पर पिट तो पाँच के जी एक पिट में डाला जाता है एंड वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम रॉक फॉस्फेट इन एडिशन टू दिस वी यूज फॉस्फेट दैट इज वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टी ग्राम रॉक फॉस्फेट फॉर सिंगल पिट then two to three rooted cuttings of black pepper are planted individually in each of the pit do se teen jo root cuttings hain unko use karte hain hum ek hi pit mein after the onset of monsoon aur ye grow karte hain hum on the 
northeastern side of the supporting tree. Next, the vines are allowed to climb on the supporting tree, which is also known as standard. Jo supporting tree is standard. Bhi kehte Sometimes they are allowed to trail only up to 1.5 meter. Jo ye branches hain, wo karti hain 1.5 meter tak. Uske baad hum in fir se fold karke in soil mein insert karte hain, then they will develop another branchlets. This induces development of more leader shoots. Jab hum aisa karte hain, to kuch aur leader shoots arise hote hain. Covering the entire standard, जो ये standard means जो supporting tree है और pole है उसको cover करते हैं entirely and development of more literal uh, shoots from the base of standards. Most favorite supporting trees for black pepper in India are जो हम mostly use करते हैं supporting tree वो है coconut, arika nut, mango and jackfruit. So in trees को mostly use करते हैं as a standard. Then ICAR that is the Indian Council of Agriculture Research Indian Institute of Spice Research has recommended manuring in May Jo farm yard manure hai May mein add karte hain at the rate of 10 kg per vine So 10 kg per vine with NPK that is nitrogen phosphate uh, and potassium at the rate of 50 ratio 50 ratio 150 grams per vine per year So ek vine mein 50 grams of nitrogen 50 grams of potassium 50 gram uh, sorry uh, phosphate and uh, 150 grams of potassium per vine per year when the vine becomes three years old and above then we use the biofertilizer azospirulum isko hum after three years use kar sakte hain at the rate of 50 gram per vine to obtain the maximum yield and then the harvesting is done manually through hand picking, jo harvesting hai wo manually karte hai, hand picking say as soon as one of the two fruits at the base of the spike begins to turn red. So jaise hi fruits uh, red hona shuru hote hai, waise hum ise harvest karte hai, this is done manually. The collected spikes are dried under the sun and then the pepper cones are stripped off from the dry spikes. Ise hum dry karte hai under the sunlight. Next comes varieties. We have different varieties. We are, these varieties are divided into two categories. One is general varieties. It includes Karimunda, Coriandum, then Narayan Kodi, Empyrean, Kulu Valley, Morta, Nilamundi. So these are variety black pepper ki, which are general varieties. Then we have improved varieties like uh, Sarikara, Shubhakara, then Panchami, Pornami, PLD2, IISR, Thivam, IISR, Malabar, IISR, Shakti. So these are improved variety of black pepper. Next comes types of peppers. So we have uh, different types of pepper like green pepper, black pepper, white pepper. So we will discuss it one by one. Firstly, we have black pepper. And this we have already discussed. It is processed from the green unripe droops of the pepper plant jo unripe green uh, droops and fruits hain unhe use karte hain black pepper ko banane ke liye they are put briefly in hot water to clean and prepare them from drying so pehle hum jo green fruits hain unhe collect karte hain after then they are washed in hot water then they are prepared for drying then they are dried for several days aur jaise hi hum inhe dry karte hain the color changes from this red to black so the fruit wall shrinks and darkens into a thin and wrinkled black layer around the fruits which results in formation of this black pepper. So this is how this black pepper is prepared. The next comes white pepper. So uh, it uh, for the preparation of white pepper, uh, it uh, requires some different procedure. Firstly, we have to collect these green drops. Jo fruits have collect collected, then they are heaped. In a collect collected, they are collected. Uh, they will undergo the process of fermentation and after that the outer layer will decompose or iske under ka jo white seed hai that is collected this is known as white pepper so it represents the true seed of pepper plant jo seed hai usse represent karta hai fully ripe droops are soaked in water or hipped for about a week and allowed to ferment so inhe ikattha ek hi jagah pe rakh jata hai hip karke uh, then they are allowed to ferment after fermentation jo uh, Baharka portion that undergo the process of decomposition and outer layer of the fruits are separated by ratting 
and then they are washed leaving behind white colored fruits that results in formation of this white pepper so they are dried and stored for further use this is how this white pepper is produced next comes green pepper it is processed from unripe troops like black pepper just say black pepper ki preparation hoti hai waise hi green troops ko collect karte hain but jo flesh fresh green pepper corns hain they are canned or treated with sulfur dioxide taki ya ise freeze karte hain taki iska jo green color hai wo ye retain rakh sake next comes red or orange pepper so it consists of fully ripe red pepper troops preserved in brine and vinegar then they are also be dried using the color preserving techniques followed to prepare the green pepper so is tarah se hum red or orange pepper ko obtain karte hain at maturity jo berries hain inka color red ho jata hai aur isi color ko hum preserve karte hain by storing it in brine or vinegar so these are the types of peppers next comes chemical constituents which are present in pepper black pepper so it contains alpha pinene beta pinene piperonol piperonal dihydrocarbiol beta caryophyllene and piperdine so these are the chemicals which are present in the piper its aromatic and slightly musty nature is due to presence of volatile oils jo aromatic is ka nature hai that is due to presence of certain volatile oils which are present in the flesh and skin and then its pungent taste is due to presence of certain alkaloids and resins which are found in seeds so jo pungent taste hai that is due to presence of alkaloids and resins jo hote hain next comes the uses firstly it is used as an universal spice and condiment so hum ise kitchen mein use karte hain to make all the cuisines one of the oldest and world's most important spice wide ranging uses in kitchen integral part of all the ready made garam masala available in the indian market that's why it's known as king of spices then next it is also used as flavoring ingredient uh, pepper is used as flavoring ingredient of non alcoholic beverages candies baked food meat products and cheese so in ki flavoring ke liye bhi use kiya tha pepper ko then next it is used to prepare pepper oil so used as an adjunct in flavoring of sausage canned meat soups and table sauces so in ko flavor provide karne ke liye pepper oil use kiya jata hai then it is used as an antioxidant various scientific studies have proved that black pepper has strong antioxidant properties and delays aging so it is used as a tonic next comes its medicinal uses it has lot of health benefits it makes skin healthy that we have already discussed it helps to get rid of cold improve digestion efficient in treatment of ulcers alleviate tooth ache prevent cancer helps in weight loss helps to fight depression treat asthma and cure sinuses it has high medicinal values therefore widely used uh, to may to stay healthy and also to treat various diseases condition The pepper fruits have carminative, aphrodisiac, diuretic, anti-inflammatory, analgesic, stimulant properties. They have been reported to be useful in arthritis, asthma, fever, cough, dysentery, dyspepsia, and flatulence. Flatulence. So, in all these types of diseases, to treat them, it is used. It stimulates digestive juices and enzymes promote digestion. Recent studies have shown that piperine present in black pepper protects against different forms of cancer so it also have anti cancerous properties and lower the blood pressure so this piperin is very important com chemical component which helps in uh, controlling cancer black pepper delays the brain aging and also prevent alzheimer and parkinson disease so it is very good for our brain also then it is used as insecticide piperin present in pepper corns is an effective insecticide against house flies and other insects it is used to flavor alcoholic drinks piperine present in black pepper is used to impart pungent taste to brandy and some in some countries so jo brandy hai use jo uh, pungent taste provide karne ke liye bhi piperine jo pepper hai use use kiya jata hai so these are the uses of black pepper so in this lecture i have covered two spice plants and uh, i will try to cover rest of the plants in second lecture hope you will get some idea from this presentation about spices if you have any questions queries and any suggestions you can give it in comment section thanks for watching have a great day